Joining me now, Congressman Andy Biggs, who's a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, great to have you with us tonight. Are you becoming you. increasingly convinced that it wasn't just the FBI and the Department of Justice that were using this phony dossier document to damage Trump during the campaign and thereafter? The key people in the Obama administration were in on it. Yeah, it certainly seems that way, and it has seemed that way for some time. When you start looking at uh, the Ors, Bruce and Nellie Orr, and their, uh, their their position, and then you start linking this thing up, and now you're starting to see uh, uh, Rod, Rod Rosenstein. You saw him involved from from Uranium One all the way through everything, and so this is the gift that keeps giving, so to speak, in not a good way either. That we're seeing more and more, and it just keeps dribbling out. And to see this this couple, the Murray's, uh, Murray King, Mr. Uh, Ms., Mr. King and Ms. Murray, their relationship, they're married, and yet here we see this connection again right. with Fusion GPS right on into the to the White House. And isn't it Amazing. interesting, having read myself, Glenn Simpson of Fusion GPS's uh, testimony under oath, he never disclosed that information. He didn't disclose Nellie Orr, and he apparently didn't disclose the Obama connection or the. Biden connection as well. I, I do want to ask you, because you're a lawyer, uh, you know that deceiving a court and concealing evidence uh, is arguably a variety of crimes. I can think of six different felony statutes that are violated, abuse of power, uh, obstruction of justice, perjury, uh, major fraud, conspiracy to commit fraud. Um, do you think that crimes may well have been committed that merit a criminal investigation? Oh, absolutely, yes. I mean, it, the, the bottom line is this should have been a criminal investigation ongoing, and, and now we're hearing that the AG is, is getting in on this a little bit. But uh, this is, these are questions I asked uh, Director Ray and the Attorney General uh, when they testified before the Judiciary Committee. Uh, I said, look, you know, we know that, that things were going on. This warrants a criminal investigation. Will you bring criminal charges? Will you can reopen investigations? Will you expand? And they said, yes, they would. And, uh, but they, keep, they were kind of punting to the inspector general. Uh, uh, that, that's not where we need to be. We need our own attorney general to get in there, conduct the investigation, and, and where necessary, bring charges. Well, but if he, if he doesn't think he can do it because if he's recused himself— Right. Then there's there's ample there's ample room under the statutes for him to appoint a special counsel, and well, that's he, why he we is on him. record as saying his recusal doesn't mean he can't appoint a special right. counsel. But why is it taking so long? Uh, you know, you were among the first people to write to the Department of Justice and the Attorney General saying appoint a special counsel. There was a letter in July from two dozen members of Congress, the Judiciary Committee, uh, ignored by Sessions. Then again in September, another letter sent. Um, he didn't respond. Finally, in November, he said, I'm thinking about it. And now, in the course of the last 10 days, two more letters have been sent. Um, yeah. Are you concerned yeah. that Jeff Sessions isn't really in control of the Department of Justice? Yeah, that's been one of my concerns uh, from early on, because he didn't clear out the, the highest-ranking people who were left from the Obama administration, some of whom we found out um, participated in all of these investigations where they hid, uh, you know, everything from the email scandal to the Uranium One scandal. Uh, they participated in that, and they didn't ever bring charges. In fact, they were protect. It looks like to me, anyway, that they were protecting Hillary Rodham Clinton. They didn't want her to get s to suffer. He should have, in my opinion, cleared out that group, brought in a fresh group of faces, people who were objective. And, uh, you know, if they, if they right. weren't going to be loyal to this administration, at least objective. And that didn't happen. And so now you got, have Rod Rosenstein, who seems to be making a lot of decisions. And that's a problem. I want to switch to the other subject, California, sanctuary cities, yeah. counties, and state. Uh, you have applauded the move by the Trump administration to go after California. Aren't they already breaking the law? And I'll put up on the screen for our viewers. Here's the federal statute. A state or local government entity or official may not prohibit or in any way restrict sending to or receiving from the Immigration and Naturalization Service, now ICE, regarding the citizenship or immigration status lawful or unlawful of any individual. Isn't that precisely what California has been doing, breaking the yeah. law? Yeah, I agree. They've, they've broken the law. And I think 
The most outrageous example of that was the Oakland mayor, who, who uh, basically warned murderers, rapists, child molesters, hide out, uh, you know, from, from ICE. And they, they've taken uh, ICE uh, members out of the sheriff's offices. They've, they've prohibited uh, any kind of cooperation. Uh, this, is, this is actually, uh, uh, in my opinion, high-level criminal conduct. I am grateful that, that Jeff Sessions is bringing the lawsuit, but I think we need to do more than that. I think people need to be prosecuted, uh, whether it be for obstruction of justice or perhaps even aiding and abetting. Uh, uh, as, as people who are fleeing from, from justice, free, yeah. fleeing from process. Those are right. crimes. And, and oh, it's uh, aiding and abetting, it's obstruction of justice, yeah. and it's a violation of a very specific federal yes. statute that we'll be bringing up with a uh, former prosecutor very, very shortly. But Congressman Andy Biggs, I do want to thank you for your time. Hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for being with us.